I'm not going to hell alone. I'm taking you with me. This is from the GBA Temp Forums in the PCSX2 HD Texture Pack group. And this is a post by Sal9aim or Salim. And the post is called Dragon Ball Z with Okai Tenkaishi 3 Texture Pack. And this is for the USA version of the game. And then you can click here to go to the link to download the textures. And then you have to click here and this will open another link. And then click here, this will open some ads. And then you have to click again. And then again, until you go, until you get to a Google Drive link. And then download the taxers. Then after the download is complete, we have to extract the taxers. And if you're using Windows 11 with 7-zip, we can then Alt Shift, right click on top of it, go to 7-zip and then choose extract here. Now go to your documents. PCSX2 and this is your PCSX2 folder and if you're using a PCSX2 portable version or portable mode your folder should be in the same folder as your PCSX2.exe now first we are going to copy the textures or the HD texture pack and then go to the textures and paste them in here now these textures come with the Xbox buttons and if you want to use the original PS2 buttons you have to go inside of the original buttons and then you can select all files and then copy or cut these files then go to your textures folder or HD texture folder then go to replacements buttons and then overwrite the Xbox buttons with the original buttons now go back to your PS2 folder or PCSX2 folder. Now these textures come with custom settings so you don't have to do it manually and this fixes some graphic glitches or graphics glitches. This is because when sometimes upscaling games in PCSX2 it can cause some visual bugs or visual glitches and then you have to copy or cut this file. Go to game init, init, go to game init and then paste it here. This will overwrite your settings or your game settings if you already have them. And then you can go to your PCSX2 and then right click on top of Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Go to graphics and if you go to text replacement you can see that it's already turned on. But then go to rendering and here change the internal resolution to a high resolution or we won't see much of a difference in the HD textures. But this, this depends on your PC specs. I'm going to choose 4K. And then in the post processing, this custom game settings comes with a shade boost that I don't like, or I personally don't like. But if you like, you can leave it turned on. But I'm going to turn it off. And that's it. Now, if you run the game, the HD textures should be working correctly. <laughs> Even you, Kakala, 